Other breaking news we're following. Ford and the United Auto Workers have reached a tentative contract agreement which could end that 40-day strike. Wave News reporter Noel Friel live outside the UAW Union Hall with the very latest. That's right, John. The Kentucky truck plant workers have packed up the picket lines and they are no longer on strike. Just a few hours ago, the workers were called here to the union hall where they were given the news. In a video update, UAW President Sean Fain broke down the terms of the agreement. So here are some of those highlights. The wage increase is at 25 percent. With cost of living adjustments, workers can expect the top wage rate to increase by over 30 percent to above $40 an hour. Ford workers will receive an immediate 11 percent wage increase upon ratification. They've also won back 2009 cost of living adjustments, got rid of wage tiers, added to their pension multiplier, and won the right to strike over plant closures. Here's what one local bargaining committee representative had to say. We've waited long enough. There's a lot of workers that have not had their fair share inside a Ford Motor Company. Uh, so for them to actually have their opportunity and their day to, to get what they are worth, then I'm ecstatic about it. I can't, I can't use a better word than ecstatic about making sure that we end wages and tears and bring everybody to the same playing field. We're all doing the exact same work, so we should pay the exact equal pay. Ford workers are now being asked to go back to work while this agreement is being ratified in order to put pressure on Stellantis and GM. In a statement, Ford said they're focused on restarting the Kentucky truck plant and Michigan and Chicago assembly plants. Now from here, the UAW National Ford Council will go to Detroit where they will look over the terms of this agreement and decide whether to vote to send it to the membership. From there, those details of the agreement will be released to members online. There will be a Facebook Live to go over the details that night, and from there, the UAW members will make the final vote. Reporting live, Noel Friel, Wave News. Okay, thanks, Noel.